What a great teachable moment. What a fabulously wonderful and welcome teachable moment about the hostility on the left for average, ordinary Americans. It's just wonderful. It's such a great opportunity. And we're going to explore it as deeply as necessary to make the point to you. In addition, everybody shocked and surprised, unemployment number up unexpectedly. New claims for unemployment. The media is laughing now. Even CBS is laughing at Obama. And his focus on the Buffett rule. And Dana Milbank, is la- Ezra Klein, say George Bush tax cuts work. The Democrats actually admit this. All we're talking about is uh, raising rates on the top 2%. Yeah, yeah, Washington Post, Ezra Klein, a new wonderkin. So, yeah, there's, uh, uh, and we got the George Zimmerman uh, arrest to uh, discuss. A lot of pressure, by the way, in Florida. On this, uh, what, 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 the, the, the uh, what's, what's the name of the law down there? The um, stand your ground. I think we need to change the name because they're trying to get rid of it. When in fact, it has, it's not to blame for anything. But, but how about changing the name of the law to resist we much? Instead of stand your ground, resist we much. You have to pay sharp to the royalty, but I'm sure that Eric Holder can see to that. The resist we much law. Anyway, hi folks, how are you? Great to have you with us. Rush Limbaugh behind the golden EIB microphone here at the Limbaugh Institute. Telephone number if you want to be on the program, 800-282-2882. Last, let, let, what, what, what? What's the question? You know what? I'll get into that. I'm going to get into that in, in just a second. I'm going to, I'm going to get into the, the I've, I've got to do this Hillary Rosen stuff here because this is, this is, Big and this because it's such a teachable moment. This is such an illustration of who these people are, the left. It's such an illustration of phoniness of of, of feminism. Uh, it, it is an illustration of the absolute hostility that the left has for women who stay at home. I thought this issue of of, of stay at home moms and so forth. You remember the original objective of uh, of feminism was equal pay for equal work. And now we find out in the White House that women are underpaid. Women make 18% less than men make in the Obama White House. Now, that was the original organizing moment, supposedly, about feminism. Now, we find out that there is genuine hostility for women who do not work who only stay at home and raise their families. So the Obama administration has just effectively, whether they know it or not, they have launched a war on motherhood via Hillary Rosen on CNN last night. Obama and the Democrats are not content to just divide men and women. They want to go deeper and divide working mothers from stay-at-home mothers. And they want to attach the virtue to working mothers and assign no virtue to stay-at-home moms. Now, you talk to most women, even those who consider themselves feminists and got caught up this uh, way back in the 70s. They will tell you that they thought that was a battle that they fought and, and won and ended years ago. But I, Il Rushbo, have known that there's always been hostility for women who don't go to work. They are letting down the sisterhood. This has been one of my main contentions throughout the entire history of this program. But in one fell swoop, Hillary Rosen has reopened this wound and is is allowing everybody to see in that the real hostility And I don't want to, how's this going to play with all those precious independents? The real hostility is for women who stay at home. And make no mistake, Hillary Rosen was hostile. She was hostile in her original comment, and she was hostile as she ratcheted it up after the original comments. Go to the audio sound bites. Last night on CNN, Anderson Cooper. The guest was Hillary Rosen, and they're talking about Romney's appeal to women and this war on women, which, by the way, 
The Democrats are now saying that they never called it that. The Democrats are saying it's a, it's a Republican term. We never called it the war on women. They are sending out fundraising appeals with the war on women name in them. Pelosi has sent one out. They're all over the place. Obama refused to condemn the term war on women when asked about it. They're literally denying what they are saying. So here is what Hillary Rose is. She's upset that Romney cited his wife as someone he listens to on economic problems faced by women. What you have is Mitt Romney running around the country saying, well, you know, my wife tells me that what women really care about are economic issues. And when I listen to my wife, that's what I'm hearing. Guess what? His wife has actually never worked a day in her life. She's never really dealt with the kinds of economic issues that a majority of the women in this country are facing in terms of how do we feed our kids how do we send them to school, and why do we worry about their future? There's something much more fundamental about Mitt Romney. He just he seems so old-fashioned when it comes to women, and I think that comes across, and I think that that's going to hurt him over the long term. He just doesn't really see us as equal. Ann Romney has had breast cancer. Ann Romney has MS, multiple sclerosis. She has raised five boys while undergoing breast cancer treatment and being treated for multiple sclerosis. Hillary Rosen's complaint is that she doesn't know what life is really like for real women because she doesn't have any economic problems. So she can't relate to women who do have economic problems. And therefore, it is totally erroneous for Romney to hide behind her skirt, which she says later. Romney should stop hiding behind her skirt because she's never worked a day in her life. She doesn't know what she's talking about, and Romney doesn't know what he's talking about. They don't have any clue what life is really like.